Hey y'all, I'm in the kitchen today and I wanted to address a meme that's going around on the internet again. One that is not exactly honest in my opinion and in my experience more importantly. And that is regarding this meme that I'm going to put up that shows you that you can just break eggs into an ice cube tray and freeze them for later usage. Now I know egg prices are high and there's a lot of wishful thinking that leads you to believe that this meme is true. Now you can freeze eggs, you can freeze anything, but does that mean that in the end it's going to come out the way you want it to so that you can either cook eggs with it, fried eggs, or use it in a cake, or use it, you know, to boil, just however you want to do it use the egg but you can freeze the eggs but it's going to come out different and it's not going to be palatable to a lot of people they're going to be wasting a lot of eggs and with an egg shortage or egg prices being what they are we really can't afford to be wasting eggs now i have my own chickens and most of you don't some of you will but you still aren't going to want to waste a dozen eggs on uh, putting them in ice trays only to find out later that the meme was uh, misleading. So let me show you what happens when you freeze an egg. All right, so I have three eggs here. Now this one, my chicken laid today and it doesn't have a shell, so I don't mind wasting it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as my broken egg, break it into a bowl. I'm going to freeze it as if it was being frozen in an ice cube tray. All right. People were commenting on this meme and saying, oh, I just freeze them whole. I don't even break them into the ice cube tray. So here is my whole egg that I'll be freezing. And then, actually, let me switch. I'm going to freeze this one because it's smaller. And then this egg I'm going to take and I'm going to crack it into a bowl. And we're going to scramble it in the bowl. So I'm going to, as if I were making scrambled eggs, just going to do it like this. And make sure that I get that egg yolk all mixed in with the egg white. Now I did this years ago because I believed a similar meme. We're talking back MySpace days that long ago and learned the hard way that you can't trust everything that you see on the internet. Hopefully I didn't poke a hole in this bowl. But anyway, so th there is scrambled and then I would of course pour that in my t into my pan and cook it. All right, so three different versions here. So I'm gonna put all three of these in the freezer after I put some saran wrap on top and then I will be back in a few days to show you what happens when you freeze your eggs like this. I'll tell you what happens before it happens, however. So in the case of this one, the egg yolk is gonna harden as if you had almost boiled it. The ice crystals or whatever cause the proteins in the egg yolk to bind and harden. So you would you would not want to use this in a cake mix if you were making a cake with a frozen egg. What's going to happen with this one is similar. That it's most likely going to crack and the egg yolk itself is going to harden. Now, this one, once we thaw it, you know, we're going to thaw each one of them once we thaw it, will be usable to make scrambled eggs. It's still not something that I would really use in like a cake mix or something, but it would be good for scrambled eggs. So I'll tell you at the end of this video how to really freeze eggs. All right, so here's the three eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this one into the bowl. And you'll notice that even just after 48 hours, the yolk is already starting to turn rubbery. Can y'all see that? It's not liquidy anymore. It's, it's a gelatinous mess. 
So that's how it works if you freeze a whole egg. Um, if you try, were to try to use this in a cake, you know, I don't know. But it, anyway, so that's that one. The second one is the scrambled egg, which comes out the same after freezing as before. And lastly is the one that I had broken into the bowl. And as you can see, it too is just a big rubbery gelatinous thing that I could play with if I really had a mind to. So anyway, the egg white is fine. So you can, you can freeze egg whites just fine by themselves. You just can't break an egg into an ice tray and freeze it like that because... Like I said, the outcome is not what you would expect. So this is the route to go right here, or just freezing your egg whites by themselves. But don't do this, and don't do this. I had to wash my hands. So that was only after 48 hours. If you let these sit in there three months, this gets even harder, and it, it, it just turns yellow like, um, a, like from a hard-boiled egg. This one, as you can see, is a little yellower, um, to me anyway, than, than this one was. But they start to turn, uh, not only do they turn rubbery like this and harden, but they start to turn yellow, almost like um, a hard-boiled egg. So, there you go. So, there you go. There's proof that not every meme is believable. You saw it with your own eyes, the results of my experiment. Let me know in the comments if you've ever wasted a dozen eggs trying this before, because I admittedly have years ago, and it does not work. You can only do it with scrambling the egg first and putting it into little ice cube trays, and then you can use those as if it was, you know, but if you were to pour one whole egg into an ice cube tray, you'll find that one egg yolk, one egg with the, the white and egg yolk takes up more than one little hole on the ice cube tray anyway. So just stop believing, <laughs> stop believing the memes on the internet. At least try things out once and help spread the truth that you can't just freeze eggs in an ice cube tray like the, the meme that I showed you is showing. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video is helpful and if you haven't already please subscribe.